Hi everyone, I'm Chloe and I've been traveling a lot lately and I never check a luggage in. I always travel with carry-ons and it's been working really good for me so far. It's allowed me to travel more light and not have to wait at the airport and save a lot of money because checked luggage can be expensive if you have to pay for them on top of your flight. So today I thought this would be quite helpful for some of you guys who are planning on traveling soon to show you what I pack in my carry-on. So I know some companies just only allowed one carry-on luggage and no side bag. Um, if that's the case, I would highly recommend you put some kind of tote bag inside your carry-on luggage so that you can take it out if you need it. And it's also a bag that you can use then on vacation whenever you have to get groceries or um, going out and about in the city and you need a bag to actually carry stuff. This is super useful and this doesn't take any space at all in your luggage. Otherwise, if your company allows you to have a handbag plus a carry-on, this is super helpful. And also, this is something that I've been doing as well for like even companies that do not allow a handbag and a carry-on is that I take everything that I need for the flight to work, have fun, entertain myself um, in this bag and then I just put the luggage in the overhead compartment and I don't have to worry about it and I have everything I need in this bag. What I usually put in this bag are essentials. So for example, I always have my phone. That's also where I have my flight tickets or train tickets, whatever transportation I'm taking. I always put my ticket on my phone in the wallet app because it saves paper. I don't have a printer everywhere that I am and it's super easy and simple. Along with my phone, I always take a power bank, which is an extra battery for the phone. This is super useful when you're traveling and your phone is running out of battery. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I'm super, super excited. I think this is going to be really useful when I travel. And this power bank, I usually put it in my purse. And in my purse, I obviously also have money and all the cards that I need and passport and these kind of things that they'll ask you to take out every time when you travel. So I like to have everything that I need beside my phone in my purse and put that in the same bag as well. Another travel essential of mine is headphones. I use these headphones every single day. I really love them. They're from the brand Studio. I will link them down below if you're interested in checking it out. Um, I did receive them like sometimes last year and I've been using them all the time since then. I've been really happy with them. They're super comfortable and small. You can also like fold them like this and yeah. I always take them when I travel, they're wireless and I always take the cable to charge them um, just in case, but yeah, they're awesome. I have them all the time whenever it is that I want to listen to podcasts, music, edit a video, work on the computer. This is super useful and you want to have sometimes of earphones or headphones when you travel. And other thing that I always have with me in my bag is my Kindle. I've just gotten this Kindle for Christmas and I've been reading on it since then. I really love it. Um, it's so lightweight and so easy to carry around when you're traveling. It allows you to also bring several books if you read it very quickly. Um, so that's like amazing for traveling and I love to read books on it. The next thing that I always take with me are my journals. So I always bring my bullet journal and my diary, which I also use as a workbook. Um, for example, the book I'm reading on my Kindle right now has exercises, so I write everything in there. And then I have my bullet journal. And along with that, I always make sure I bring a pen. Um, the bullet journal and like notebook that I use as well as the pen will be linked down below in the description if you're interested. Another thing that I always make sure to take with me when I travel is a water bottle. I have this cycling water bottle um, that I got at a race and I'm probably going to bring that one with me. It's super um, important to stay hydrated on flights and they usually give so little water on flight. Um, so I always make sure to bring my own water and I fill it up whenever it's empty. 
Next thing I bring in my bag is my laptop. Um, being on flight or in a train is the best time for me to work. It actually helps me get some work done while I travel and so I don't have to worry so much about it when I actually arrive to the location. And actually I can already get some stuff done while I'm on the way which is super good and you don't feel stressed then when you travel. I have this computer case which I use to protect my laptop and then I obviously always bring my computer charger and then the last thing I bring with me is food. I usually bring food on every trip that I go. I just make sure that I bring a few things because Airport food is expensive and it's not good. Um, yeah, so more longer trips, I'll bring more stuff with me, but if it's more like small trips, I will just eat when I arrive. So I'm going to Greece in tomorrow. And so I bought some fruit. I got some dried apricots. Um, I think dried fruit is amazing to take with you or like a cereal bar or something like that. It's small, it's gonna fill you up. It's not gonna get damaged while you travel. Then I got a bag of strawberries and this is because I'm gonna be traveling for quite a while and I wanna stay hydrated. This is maybe not the best thing to take when you travel, but I wanted to treat myself and have strawberries. And I know this is packed in plastic, um, yeah, you know, we do what we do. And then after that, I'm also gonna bring some apples. This is more for long trips. If it's a super, super, super short, short trip, and also depending at what time of the day I'm flying or taking the train, I won't bring that much food. But this is gonna be at a time of the day where I usually have one to two meals, so I wanna make sure I'm not gonna be starving the full day. So I'm bringing apples. And then the last thing I'm bringing is these corn crackers, which I've been in love with. I've tried to not eat them all the time because they're packed in plastic, obviously. But um, yeah, I really like them. They're super convenient. They take a lot of space, but they're like great stuff. So I'll usually put the food in a separate um, tote bag, tote bag and then put that one inside the other one. And so then in my carry-on luggage, I have two different compartments, two big ones. In the first compartment, I have my clothes. I have some t-shirts, an extra pair of pants, my underwear, pajama, and I also put some camera equipment in there. I actually put my gimbal. So since I wasn't able to bring the actual case for it i just decided to cover it with all my clothes so it gets protected while i travel this is the first time i'm doing this this is maybe not the best thing but i didn't want to bring a whole suitcase just for that thing and then in the second compartment i have used these packing bags um, that allow you to separate things in your luggage and organize things and I use them so much they're so handy and they keep things organized in your suitcase so one of them is for all my running and sports gear I'm not going to be exercising that much but I usually bring my workout clothes wherever it is that I travel I always love going on runs wherever it is that I'm in the world and it's a really great way to visit a place actually and feel good you know it's not because you travel that suddenly you should stop your routine and I try to keep my routine whenever I travel as well and then in the other packing bag I have all my electronics so all my chargers camera charger phone charger gimbal batteries my lens for my camera I will also put my camera and the microphone which I'm filming with right now in there um, SD cards hard drive everything that I need to produce content and video content especially. I'm also bringing two extra notebook. This one is my notebook that I use for my documentary and I'm going to Greece to shoot my documentary. So this is a really good way to keep something to write notes and everything like that. This is something that I might take on the plane as well if I wanna work on that specifically. Otherwise, I'll just put it in the suitcase. And same for this notebook, which is my YouTube videos. Um, planner and notebook where I write all um, 
you know, ideas for my YouTube videos. Then I'm also going to be bringing this fanny pack. I think this is super useful when you travel because it keeps you things safe and you can just have your wallet and money and phone, everything like just right here to take. So that doesn't take much space and I'm just going to put it in my suitcase as well. And then finally, the last things I bring with me is a hairbrush. I have long hair. You know, if I leave for a week and don't brush my hair, this is gonna be a problem. And then I just have my toiletry bag. I have my toothbrush in there. I have makeup, jewelry, and this I usually leave it in my suitcase as well because I don't really have to use it. If I wanna brush my teeth, I'll go in the suitcase and get it. So that's everything that I'm taking with me and that's how I pack with only traveling with carry-on. I hope this video was helpful and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and enjoyed my videos. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my adventures and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!